Hey guys, some gamer dude here. Let's talk broken cards again because it's finally exploding that Charlotte's Water Transformation is a terribly broken card. I rewatched my old video on the topic recently, and I can't believe how much better I've gotten since then. I also don't think I was harsh enough. I was trying to create discussion by criticism, not just giving straight criticism. So I'll do a light recap. Charlotte's Water Transformation Magic is broken because it costs too little, not because the effect itself is overpowered. It is a blatant steal of Turn to Frog from Magic the Gathering, except broken by lowering its cost by one generic mana and giving it flashback. Even when compared to Final Forfeit from Force of Will, it is broken by having the same cost, one coloured will, yet Final Forfeit only does part of the effect. Water Transformation Magic is an automatic win versus most commonly used resonators and can be turned into a minimal cost kill card with great ease via comboing it with Artemis the God's Bow. With how much it does, it should be double blue cost or blue and generic too. Okay, now I caught you up to speed. I made a suggestion at the end of that video to play Dark Alice. I'm going to revoke that today because of how needlessly complicated it becomes. Dark Alice on her rule aside, Golan's Twilight Garb, has an effect wherein she may pay black to remove target card from the opponent's discard pile from the game. Not the perfect answer, but it does lower the damage transformation magic can cause by halving the amount of instances of it happening and forcing the opponent to draw into more to use it. It also contributes to the Golan's Twilight Garb's judgement cost so that she may turn into Dark Alice with her amazing enter ability. Here's the thing, Shackles of Ice. Shackles of Ice is an addition that stops rulers activated abilities from happening. It's also blue, the exact same color as Transformation Magic, so you're forced into a specific ruler and color to try to cope with this card. They include something in the side and aren't forced to run anything else in terms of colors. Okay, they've removed your ability to lower the damage Transformation can cause, but it does get worse. You can't cast Judgment now. No removal, no Judgment for Golan's Twilight Garb. So with that kick to the gut, how do we cope with that? Addition Removal. There is some good Addition Removal out there, but the best is Double Green, meaning you have to make green your main colour. Not sure if that's quite feasible with the current pool. Flipping it around to black being the main with minor in green, it is possible, but requires playing a card that only disposes of one. It's better to go white and grab it as an ETB. So now you're forced into white black, they still have only picked blue, but you can counter their counter to the, your ability to minimalize the damage of the toxic card they use. But the cardception gets worse. Blue has barrier for additions. Bashing your head against a wall? I know I am. Yep, they can protect it. So now you need to dispose of a resonator to dispose of an addition so that you may use an ability to minimalize the damage of transformation magic. <sighs> all of this is vulnerable to hand control, which is all black, and blue mostly pairs with black. Wall is getting pretty dented right now by your head, isn't it? It's also slower than the opponent and allowing them to go through with an instance of transformation before you do something about it. Then it becomes a full-blown arms race. It's just not practical. Even accounting for Keeper of the Frozen Casket not being a popular choice, it's still not practical. You're working really hard without actually straight countering transformation magic. We can, however, minimalize the damage in another way. Dark Alice isn't a real answer because they can just screw with you, but Hera, Goddess of Jealousy, is. Hera may not minimalize the amount of transformations, but what she does do is stop it from being a kill card. That does rid you of half the issue. At least chump blockers aren't destroyed for game anymore. But that doesn't answer what to do about transformation itself. There is Sorrowful Necromancy's Memorial, but that's way too expensive to use. Regardless of what Jordan says, we need an ETB with Golan Twilight Garb's effect. Or maybe something even more drastic than that. Something that rips the rest straight out of their deck so they're removed from game pile. Having a chain of problems and their answers is just too obnoxious for words and far more frustrating than it has any right to be. All it does is cement how broken transformation magic really is. Forceful has issues with decks doing too much due to natural three colors as the stone deck doesn't have any restrictions upon it. And general maths of the stone deck allowing so many without downsides. And blue really doesn't do enough things, but this is way too much given to blue just to make sure its broken card stays broken. I can't be the only one with a flat what 
face right now. There is one suggestion I have for you. This is the least roundabout one and oddly enough, only one go and Twilight Garb herself can truly answer. Rapid growth. Confused? You can chain resolutions and force of will. Usually, your opponent will react to an attack or block with bow, then chase with transformation magic. Things go backwards, makes the target fall full, then bow does the 4 damage to kill it. Since you can chase resolutions, chase transformation magic's resolution. Your bear will be 8-8 now. Bow won't kill it. Chances are it still may die, but it may take down one whatever's fighting it as well. And better yet, Rapid Growth has Remnant too. Squeezing green into things and space for Rapid Growth might be a task, but Transformation Magic and Gwyba are things you need to be able to deal with. This has been some Gamer Dude. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.